then let's start this. We are gonna be playing some Destiny to Crucible B. Can't. Because I want to. Because I just want to scream for a little bit. Not too long. And Crucible sounds like the perfect thing to dip our pretty little toes in. Right now, for about 30 minutes or so. So get one or two games in. It should be fun. Anyways, this is Destiny 2. And this is what matters today. We're playing Crucible. In the Trials of Osiris. What's this called? Curse of Osiris DLC. So, pretty exciting. Let's do this. Let's have fun. Let's uh, not die by the lasers because apparently there's lasers that will kick your butt. And I don't want to die by those lasers, quite frankly. But you never know. Can't stop them. I play a hunter and a warlock. I have not leveled up my warlock. Even though in Destiny 1, I mained my Warlock. My Hunter was probably strictly just for Crucible. Alright, so Crucible, what are these? Osiris Competitive? Osiris Quick Play. Alright, fine. We'll just play the Osiris ones. Seems easy, see simple. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get this on. Let's get the show on the road. We're searching for guardians. So here is my stuff that I have currently. I have the raid chest, the raid boots, just because I think they look really cool. Don't really want to spend the coins to level that up. So, quite frankly, I'm not going to. And we will put that, of course, we're going to run the Mita Multi-Tool. Which, I am currently playing this on remote play. I don't think the Mita multi-tool will be my best decision. Especially with, you know, the input lag that is sure to come. That ship right there to the right is the Osiris exotic ship. So good. I want that one. I have the the base version's exotic ship. I have what do I have currently? I have Ego and Squid. Not the best looking one, but it's an exotic, so I I leave it on. Why wouldn't I? Radiant Clips. Mercury's past. Dude, that guy's helmet looks sick. Execute all targets and make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. All right, let's go. Double down. Double down. You know what I have on? I have freaking green. Ooh. Me. Ooh. 
destroyed. Yeah, I can't really the fake KMR, no. Where I'm going. Ow. Trying to figure out a good weapon to use when kinda laggy. Sweet assault rifle. Lost the lead. Ah, uh, oh. Come on, stick your head back out. I know you're there. I know you're there. We need a B group together. Oof, oofa, oofa, doopity doo. I just got wrecked. How about you? Oofa, doofa, doopity doo. I just got wrecked. How about you? Ow! Right, so I usually go with sword. I go with the rocket launcher. It would stick with this. That's right. And can it? I'll stick with this. That looks like death that direction. I'm not gonna go there. I don't know what that guy was doing. Oh, I'm gonna die. Told you. That grenade, though. I'm Arc Strider. Also. Oh, lag. My aim is not the best. Let's uh let's make this clear. I am nowhere near pro at this game. <laughs> Wait, I am. But playing remote play really hinders you. Alright. All right, all right, all right. Ugh, my screen went black. Three minutes. You're evenly matched. And of course, I will. He actually missed me, and then I backed up into it. So. Double down. Double down. I suck with the arch skirter so much. Gonna get better with him. I usually 
believe it or not, go with the Night Stalker. Just because I like slowing them down, it makes them so frustrated when you can see them jumping up and down. Oh! Some uh, remote play artifacting there. Fine. Oh. Man, that guy needs to get killed. Look at this. Auto rifle again. Oh. Who, did, who was shooting me? Boat play is lagging a little bit. See the icon in the upper left. Oh. Like a lag. Well then, that uh, didn't work out very well, did it? What are you doing, dude? You've got thirty seconds. Ow. So 10 seconds remaining. 5, 4, 3. Your enemy has defeated you. <sighs> oh, I got something. I got. You fought well, Not that. But I'm sorry. Not this. I got something. Infinite. Oh, that wasn't it. I don't know what I got. Uh, anyways, we'll continue on our merry little journey to PvP in uh, Curse of Osiris. As we are currently doing now. And we are waiting for the next game to actually happen. Alright. Putting into it, I think. Alright. Whenever it's going to be the same map. My luck, it's going to be the same map. We are going to Mercury again. If I had to gander, I would guess all the new maps are going to be on Mercury because that's the new planet. Last time was Mercury's past. Don't know what this one's going to be. Neither do I know how many new EVP maps there are. Honestly, I'll tell you something. I don't like how when a DLC comes out, that there's a separate playlist. I understand that everyone gets the DLC. Yada, yada, yada. I want one playlist that you just don't go into the maps that are new. It, it can't. It, look, I got the same one. Ra Radiant Clips. I got the same map. So what I'm saying is that it has both the new DLC stuff. And the past ones all in one playlist and as you as someone who doesn't own the DLC never knows doesn't get any hint or anything that he's not in the rotation of the new DLC maps it's only you know like 
like it, 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 it just seems so simple and something that should already be there one playlist you can play what you want doesn't matter if you have the dlc maps or not you just don't get into those maps so you're not possible for that queue but that ha that could all be done outside of the user's knowledge We have a oh no. I I just feel like that seems like how it should be instead of you know I only play the DLC map. I only play the base game map. So what happens when a new DLC comes out? Am I not? I'm gonna have to queue for that too. Ugh! I uh, failed at aiming there. I think, um, Battlefield, like Battlefield 4, I believe did stuff like that. Battlefield 1 certainly does stuff like that. I just feel like that would be a no-brainer. Oh, crap. Knew that was going to happen. So, stuff like, like me, I... I don't want to play the same map over and over. First of all, Destiny 2 should have playlists like Destiny 1 where I don't want to play Clash. I don't I don't want to play Capture the Flag. Give me an option to do whichever one I want. I'm getting my butt handed to me. You down. Double down, but I didn't get a double down. Ow, 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 ow. Did you not die? Oh, I was in there for a while. So, like, in Destiny 1, I could queue just for uh, capture, for instance. And just play capture modes. Or I could queue for the kill confirmed. I forgot what the... Or I could queue for just clash. I, do, I want to just... Queue for whichever one I want to play. I don't have to be forced to play all the game mode. Oh man, if that guy did not walk in front of the other one, I would have at least killed two over there. Zone A captured. Power play. Keep the pressure on. <sighs> we have a power. Oh. Get out of here. The old scouts. Oh. What the heck was that? I'm not totally unhappy with how Destiny's two people. I am unhappy at how bad I am with Arc Strider. I just think there's certainly million ways they can improve it. Improve it. It's fun. Currently. So there was that. But I think there's little things that can happen to really up the ante with it. Such as be a little bit more balanced. Uh, a better, a little better matchmaking. The different playlists, I think, there needs to be better playlists. Certainly, just like Destiny One. I mean, they had it in Destiny One. I can't again. Three minutes left. Your enemy 
can't kill if they're dead. <laughs> Your enemy can't kill if they're dead. You captured zone C. You have zone advantage. <laughs> Oh boy! Triple play! Oh boy! Oh! That hurt me to see! Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh! Did I just walk into. Yes, I did. Walked into the Nova Bomb. Oh, this guy is lagging. That's not even me. Okay. Yeah, I see how it is. I see how it is. Seventy-nine to forty-four. Oh, that seems bad. That seems bad. Look at that. That guy, is it me lagging or what? Boy, that guy died. Don't see lost. Power play. Enemy has your soul. Oh, illuminated Ingram. Only one minute left. Alright, one minute left. Let's. Let's do this, shall we? Oh, I can't wait to see what you do with that. Zone C captured. Sound tactics bring victory. I got sword flight 4.0. Yeah. Boots that I've had. But they're 309. You know what? I will eat those up. Dismantle. And now I'm 305. Let's uh cancel out of here. Friday. So I think that was a pretty successful quick little crucible scream. Um ooh, remote play is struggling right now, thank you. And that <laughs> I think that pretty much tells you that it's the end. Uh, actually, you know what we could do? We could go ahead and go to Traveler real quick. And we can see what we got in my illuminated Ingram. And I think I have... Uh, I have two illuminated and two legendaries. So we could go ahead and see it from there. Visit Hawthorne. And I got the clan XP. Did I get that? Not quite sure. I believe I did. Yeah, I, I did. So we could go ahead and check that out as well for the ending of this. Ended off in the tower. It loads in. Loads and loads. And traveling from Mercury to Earth. Light speed. My remote play stutters and lags and artifacts galore. Alright, so let's see. I think I got a legendary in here that I got from. Yeah, so play of the game. I got a grenade launcher. Super exciting. Uh, we will decrypt this. Did I get? 
a new ghost shell awesome and a small gift of bright dust yay don't really care about that um all right so now we could go to this we lag our way over there okay and see what master rahul gives us dead end cure and then the last person to go to well, remote play is uh, struggling right now as you can see from the terrible quality that we're getting keeps on going in and out uh, we gotta go up here to be for the clan XP. Chancellor, you just never quit, do you? Took out golf, woke up the traveler, and now half of what I hear in the streets is how much. And I got another merciless. So there's that. Take care of yourself. Okay? Anyways, this was just a quick little Destiny 2 PVP stream. I had a lot of fun. If you're watching this on Twitch, uh, please feel free. Go ahead and follow me. I appreciate that a lot. If you're on YouTube, go ahead, subscribe, and hit that like button. That would be really awesome. Leave a comment down below if you want to join me in some Destiny 2 PvP. Because it is awesome. And your thoughts about the Curse of Osiris DLC. Anyways, my name is Matters. And Destiny 2. That is is what matters today. Peace out.